glad you're here watching. Let's go ahead and get our circle for today started. So let's start with our calendar. Who thinks they know what today is? What day of the week is today? Today is Tuesday, April 28th. And what year is it? 2020. So if today is Tuesday, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. So yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday. That makes tomorrow what? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Good job. And let's count how many days are left in the, in the month of April. Counting today, well, today we won't count today since we're here. One, two, only two days left in April. And what will happen on Friday? What month is after April? May. So then we'll have to change up our whole calendar. So we'll do that together on Friday. Okay? Good job. What are we talking about this week? Do you remember from yesterday? One of the signs was this. And one was this. So what do you think it is? Plants and flowers. We have Jew, Jewel, and then what was... Um, flower, do you remember? Because I don't. <laughs> wa, wa, wa is flower. I'm not perfect either. We all make mistakes. So wa is flower and ju is plant in Mandarin. All righty. Let's go ahead and do our weather. You ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? Is there sun or is there rain? Let's go take a look. All right, what's the weather where you are today? It's sunny here with a few of the clouds. All right, good job. Now, we're gonna talk about the parts of a plant. So we talked yesterday about the seed and today's book is called The Tiny Seed. And it's a tiny book, so I apologize if you really can't see it. So the seed is the first thing we put in the ground, right? For any plant or flower, it starts with a seed. What does that seed need in the soil? Besides soil, you put it in there, you cover it up. What does it need? It needs water and sunshine. Those things help the plants grow. And then the first thing that come out of the seeds, they grow into the soil and they're called roots. The roots are what's the base of the plant, right? And then a stem grows and then the leaves and then the flowers are the plants. Okay. So we have the seed, the roots, the stem, and then the plant. And tomorrow we'll talk about a little bit of what the leaves do and what the stem and the roots do for the plant. We've talked about it before, but it's important to know, okay? Good job. So today's book is called The Tiny Seed, and the author is Eric Carl. It is autumn, a strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burns it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. The closer you get to the sun, the warmer it gets, right? Another seed lands on a tall icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. The tiny seed's way back here. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and the others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. Do you think a seed could grow in the ocean? One seed drifts down onto the desert. 
It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Some plants like to grow in the desert. They don't need lots of water like cacti, but this seed, it's not a desert plant, so it won't grow. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall to the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Now it is winter and their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they were going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch, but the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Do plants grow in the winter? No, it's too cold. Now it's spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, the seeds grow, grow so round and full they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore, they are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow upwards towards the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new plants. It is a big fat weed and it makes all the sunlight and the rain away from one of the small new plants and that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry, but finally it too starts to grow. So weeds sometimes grow in our garden. They're, a weed is a plant that we don't want and they take away the sun and the water and the nutrients. So that's why you'll see people out there pulling weeds so the pretty plants will grow. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun in the springtime. One child does not see the plants as he runs along and oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven and look, a bud and now even a flower. But what is happening? First there are footsteps, then a shadow looms over them, then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. Uh-oh, somebody picked the flower. Do you think once it's picked it will grow anymore? No. A boy has picked a flower to give to a friend. But that was nice, wasn't it? It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop growing. <clears throat> the sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves and it grows taller and taller. It is taller than the house. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. That giant flower came from that tiny little seed. Do you see all the people? Do you think a flower could grow that big? All summer long, the birds and the bees and the butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big, beautiful flower before. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower, and this time the flower's seeds open. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail on the wind. The end. So what do you think is going to happen to all the seeds that came from that flower? 
we just talked, they're going to blow through the wind, land, and grow. So that's how seeds get around. So, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.